their smelly and disgusting bread. All, bread. Bread. All of them, yeah. Lack of manners. Yeah. Passionising, nearly passionising. Sometimes they have very, very like biased views about things and they tend to be a little extreme, uh, old fashioned as well. I run a youth group and they're great! <laughs> Do know. They, they hobble along and they're so nice and nice love our people. They're I, so cute. They're young, enthusiastic. For the first time ever um, in Britain, uh, as a culture and society, there will be more people over 60 than there are under 16. And that means that, you know, when it comes uh, in, uh, when I retire, well, I'll retire in about 10 years, but for other people it may be, you know, uh, 15 years or so, then you're suddenly going to see not just, you know, uh, a, 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 a sort of general you know, increase in the numbers of old people living in this country, but you're going to see a huge blip. Uh, and, and that is what the government's got to prepare itself for. I think that, I don't know, pe young people seem to be rather you know, scared yeah. by them. They seem like, they don't seem very, I don't know, in touch with the older generation. They, they, they'd rather talk to people their age. Those elderly people can feel very frightened of young people. And a young person has moved into the place who feels quite frightened and estranged from the elderly people. They say there's nothing to do, there's nothing for the young people to do in fruit. There are stacks for the young people to do in the room. The only people that can't find anything to do are the ones that don't want to do anything. Mm. They don't want a bit of discipline. They don't want to join a club that's something they've got to put effort into regularly, every week. I'm a graffiti artist. I have been for the last four or five years. This year in a professional artistic career with it now. But it'd be really interesting to work with an older artist who works in a different style to me and sort of collaborate our different styles with like my sort of quite young graffiti style with his more fine art style. So you start with a line drawing really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah that's interesting because that's almost um, my way of working to musically just plonking paint in for its own state but I suppose because you're using a brush and in a sense a brush mark is a line. Mm. Um, These backgrounds are sort of a splattery effect with the spray can. Yeah, so lovely because you get all those kind of contrasts of texture and and also um, I think the exciting thing about that Tom is the difference between accident which in a sense the spray can is um, and intention is. I think that kind of dialogue between accident and intention is a really, really interesting thing. I'm interested in making con connections across the space. Mm. Yeah, that's great. I love working with young people, it's especially 14 pluses. They're my favourite age range now. Knitting was a really interesting experience. I had never really done any before, and it's a skill I've always wanted to learn. Yeah, I found it quite a fun experience. I would never normally do that sort of thing because I'm into um, all this dark, all this dark music. I never realised how easy it was. You always think of little old women sat in corners knitting away really, really fast, and this was just so simple but so effective. It's a skill that definitely needs to continue. And I think I'm definitely going to use it and pass it on to my kids. In society, academic intelligence is praised, but creativity is still not seen as important within schools. Rarely are children faced with outside problems or do they interact still with visitors who are not from the school? At St Aldham's, the community are a vital part of the children's learning. The children are developing so that they can become used to communicating with different ages. 
whilst learning practically. The children are all very interested and eager to learn with different ages yeah. and it was a brilliant <laughs> atmosphere to be part of. They're really nice. Some of them will just say hello to you. Yeah. It's like most people when you pass them on the street, they just like walk past and just like shut. No, like they actually say good morning to you yeah, and stuff. They're like good yeah. morning. It's like that's a nice surprise. This morning and this woman, I don't even know. She just said oh, it's a really nice morning, isn't it? It's like it's a bit cold. But she's like yeah. And she started talking about the weather. It's really friendly. But the problem's not with the youngsters. It's with the old ones. What's that? Where's that problem with the old ones? They won't move with the times. You know, yeah. the younger people got younger views and that, and you've got to go with the flow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they've got a lot to share with us, really. It's quite interesting to talk about people from, like, different generations. The age of someone doesn't actually make any difference between them. It's how they are as an individual.